For many years, she was one of the world's most recognised political prisoners. Aung San Suu Kyi has fought for democracy and freedom. But this week, she had another fight on her hands after falling ill on a trip to Europe. The Burmese opposition leader was forced to cancel a gala dinner in Switzerland after she fell sick during a briefing to the media. Suu Kyi put it down to stress. It's been a very exhausting journey. I have got completely unused to time change, having <laughs> having stayed in one place for so long. I found the plane journey out to the west extremely uh, exhausting and a little bit disorienting. After a short rest, she resumed her hectic schedule, visiting the Swiss Parliament. Outside, she received some moral support. We have been with you and we keep on being with you. Thank you you so much. Inside Parliament, Suu Kyi received a standing ovation. After posing for pictures, Su Chi flew to Norway, where tonight she'll finally get her hands on the Nobel Peace Prize she was awarded 21 years ago. At the time, she couldn't receive it because the Burmese military had her under house arrest, where she spent most of the past 22 years. The icon of Myanmar's democracy movement was released from house arrest in November 2010. In April this year, she won a seat in the country's National Assembly. Her effort to lead her country down the democratic path has come at a great personal cost, drawing comparisons to Nelson Mandela and Mahatma Gandhi. After her belated acceptance speech tonight, Suu Kyi will travel to Britain, Ireland and France, completing a two-week tour of Europe. Adam Stephen, ABC News.